coronary artery bypass graft CABG post surgery actions This video is a follow up to the pre procedure walk through video for a typical coronary artery bypass graft procedure done at Manipal hospitals If you are about to undergo a CABG procedure this video will walk you through the post procedure actions that you can expect at our hospital Once your surgery is over you'll wake up in the ICU bed after some time The first thing you will notice is that you are connected to a ventilator with a tube inserted down your throat along with an array of tubes and wires connecting you to various machines Do not be alarmed this is all part of normal post operative procedures for your safety You may feel groggy nauseous thirsty or sleepy You are restricted from drinking water or speaking because of the tube in your throat. Be patient. It's all normal. After an hour or so, the tube will be removed and you can drink water in small sips. You will spend the next 1 to 2 days in the ICU under observation and will slowly recover. Your appetite may be reduced initially. However, it will improve gradually. But by the end of day 1 or the beginning of day 2 you may be able to sit on a chair in the ICU. You may experience slight pain and discomfort but the doctors in ICU will administer pain killers to elevate it. The constant activity in the ICU can be annoying. However, once you are off the oxygen and monitoring lines and the catheters are removed, you will be mobilized to a chair and asked to walk around. Physiotherapists will visit every day to assist you in breathing and mobilization until discharge. Once you are in the room, on the second or third day, you will feel far better, both physically and psychologically. The doctors will monitor your progress every day. By the fourth or fifth day, you might get discharged from the hospital. Although procedures are followed strictly. The progress of each patient is monitored individually by the team. On discharge, you will be given a list of medicines to take and a diet plan to follow for your full recovery apart from the details of the treatment received from the hospital. You will also receive special instructions on wound care, early warning symptoms, etc. The hospital staff will also advise you on the level of activity that you can undertake. Here again the recommended activity will vary from patient to patient once you are back home physical activities as recommended by your doctor is the key to early recovery and pain reduction monitoring your daily sugar levels weight blood pressure with suitable instruments will be required you can do this yourself or get it done by a trained nurse or doctor stay healthy and keep in touch with your doctor